Hey guys, Andrew here from Rabina Chiropractic Wellness Centre. Now, if you've received this video, it's because you either have a tilted pelvis or your spine is shifting to the side or both. So the problem with this is if your spine is shifting sideways, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be compressing the nerves to the side or you could be causing arthritis in these tiny little joints all the way up. Now, the more arthritis you have, the smaller the space for this little hole to go send messages to all the nerves and all the rest of the body. And it can, it can be a cause of your pain, but it can actually give you problems later in life, which is worse than pain. Uh, the other thing we're gonna talk about is pelvic alignment. If your pelvis is lower on one side, it can actually cause either a tilt or a curve to the spine. Once again, it's having some uh, devastating effect on the integrity of the spine. So we're gonna give you two exercises that you can do today um, that may be used in conjunction with each other or just one of them. I'll let you know which one it is. The first one that we're gonna use is just a real basic heel lift. Now we'll, we'll tell you what size to use. The goal is to put it in your shoe. You take off the, out the uh, inner sole, you place it under, place it in, and then you put it in your shoe and we start that exercise with just one hour a day. If you're doing well, then we can add it up to two, three, four, but for this to be effective, we need to have this in your shoe for about 80% of the time. Now our concerns will be if you get pain in the back of the knee, if you get pain in your Achilles, or if you get some foot pain. That means we're pushing things too far. Obviously, if you're getting exacerbation of your symptoms, let me know, but most commonly, we're actually okay with some of those increased symptoms because that's your body changing. Okay, now the second technique that we do is we use a foam block. So let's say, for example, these are called yoga blocks. Okay, let's say, for example, your body is shifted to the side. The exercise is basically to lay on the ground with a block here and to have your body shift to the side. Let me demonstrate. I'll use the other side. So that's a beginner. And then for advanced, two blocks. When you become very advanced, then we can also put one or two blocks up against the wall, and then you can strengthen your body by shifting sideways. So these exercises need to be done every single day. When you stretch to the side, it's like doing a workout. You hold, relax, hold, relax. You should be fatiguing your body every single day. The more you do, the better results. So I hope these two tips help you with that sideways shift or that curvature of your spine. We'll give you more information about that as we go along, but I hope this helps for now. My name's Andrew from Rabina Chiropractic Wellness Center. Bye for now.